Okay, it's time to see which meat Gatsby's gonna go for this time. We've done this once before where Gatsby has chosen between beef, chicken, pork, and fish, but now it's time for part two. I bought him some duck. We went to Whole Foods and bought him a organic lamb shoulder. Gatsby's like, oh my gosh. And so which one of these do you think Gatsby's gonna choose from? Turkey, lamb, duck, or shrimp? Place your bets now. We got some lamb shoulder and a duck leg. Can you smell it? Mini turkey patty. Okay, here they are. Turkey, lamb, duck, and shrimp. My body is ready. Just cut off a tiny piece of each of the meats so Gatsby can get a tiny taste so he can decide which one he wants to eat first when it comes to the main entree. Gatsby went for the lamb first. Trying the turkey next. Duck. And then shrimp. Gatsby, which one is your favorite? I personally think he will like the lamb. Probably the duck next and then the turkey and then the shrimp. Which one will you go for first? Let's see. <gasps> he went for the turkey first! Which one? Like, oh, lamb? It's like, oh, that one's actually really yummy. How about the duck? It's like, oh, that one's good too. Oh, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. He's like, but I like the turkey the most. Oh, Gatsby has spoken! He likes the turkey! Oh, he's like, I don't, I don't like that. Oh! <laughs> that face! Turkey! Followed by the lamb and then the duck. And then he's like, hmm, what was that? He doesn't even like the shrimp. Oh, he's like, okay, I'll eat it. Gatsby has spoken! He likes turkey the best! Followed by the lamb, and then the duck, and then the shrimp. Yeah? Gatsby, did you enjoy the food? Na 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 na! Does that mean it's time for us to start the vlog? Good morning, everybody! Thought we would start the day off by doing some Finding Corgi. We haven't done that in a while. Can you find Gatsby in the comments below, numbers one, two, three, four, five, and write down where Gatsby is hiding. You wanna hide? As usual, we'll start off easy with number one. Where is Gatsby hiding? Number two, where could Gatsby be hiding? Number three, this is getting harder. Number four, come on you guys, in the comments below, write down where Gatsby's hiding. And finally, number five. Good job, Gatsby, you did it! This week's song... So I'm here with Sean, hey. what's up? And we got some um, candy at CorgiCon from Keo and his mom. And these are from Mexico. We've tried some of these before, so we're just gonna try them out again, maybe. Duvian Tri Sabor. This is just straight up frosting. <laughs> I've never tried this before. Okay. De La Rosa? Oh, it's marzipan. Mm. What does it taste like? Like marzipan. It's pretty dry. Yeah. But I like it. It's a marshmallow with chocolate flavor coating. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I don't know why it needs to be on a lollipop. I had that. Boo 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 boo. Boo 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 boo. Yeah, I like the name a lot. It looks like it's just uh, what, strawberry and marshmallow with chocolate. Mm hmm. Mm. Strawberry jam. It tastes like breakfast. I've tried this before and I really like it. It's just like fun dip powder, I think, right? And you just like. It's sour. This is my favorite one so far. 
tastes just like frosting. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's good. I like this one. I changed my mind. This one's the best. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for giving us all this stuff. Mm. It's super good. <laughs> Sean likes that. Hey, Gatsby, are you going to help me? We are headed right now to pick up the reprint for the Japanese Corgi t-shirts. All of the shirts got sold out. My gosh, you guys, it's so crazy. Made it. Okay, we made it, Gatsby. Time to pick up our shirts. Uh, All right. So Just to have one. Gatsby. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Gatsby's checking out. Look, this is where the t-shirts are made. This is a screen print machine. This is the screen that we use. It's backwards, Kinda but it dirty. comes out. Oh, cool. Nice. That looks familiar. There's a Corgi on Fleek t-shirt. We're filling it, the car up with our t-shirts. There it is. Check it out. <sighs> nice. This is Jorge here. He helps. He helps with the t-shirt. Right. That's his brother Rick right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I work with a lot of local people to source and um, supply us with all of our Corgi on Fleek merchandise. Thank you so much for helping me out. I really appreciate it. We gotta get back home, unload everything. We will be restocking everything and it should be out by the end of the vlog. Don't hesitate. If you want a specific size and color, make sure you grab it at CorgiOnFleek.com. Let's head back home. Mystery flavor Pringles. Can't we just look at the ingredients and find out what flavor this is? Cheddar cheese, buttermilk. I'm gonna say it tastes like a cheddar bacon baked potato. $10,000 please. I've stuck this inside of Gatsby's closet for like uh, months now and I totally forgot about it. I bought this on Kickstarter. I brush Gatsby's teeth every single day. If your dog doesn't like to get their teeth brushed, then I guess you can use one of these that has this in it. Bristly toothpaste and we squeeze it inside. He's like, what is that? Gatsby, you got a bite. Bite it. Good dog. There you go. Clean those teeth. There you go, we're cleaning. Along with all the other products that are featured in my videos, they are not sponsored. And I have been currently running into a few problems where people have been stealing our videos and posting them as ads for their own products. So if you guys see any of those, please make sure to let me know or you can also report them yourself. Unless I say they're sponsored, which th none of them are. Please know that it's not from us. I've gotta clean, I've gotta clean my teeth. There he goes. Yeah, good dog. He's like, ah, oh, I've got to clean my teeth. Let me see. So beautiful. Finally time for me to head off to the gym. I am so exhausted, but we got to power through. <sighs> see you guys at the gym. Whoa, it's hot. What's Gatsby up to? Oh, yes, 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 please. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. What's up, what's up, what's up? Ow. out from the park. Gatsby is exhausted. Okay, okay. okay, I'm driving off right now to pick up some groceries for dinner. We're gonna make some chicken tenders. It should be pretty good. Okay, headed in. Some parsley, asparagus, breadcrumbs. Where would they be? Where is the breadcrumbs? We found it, finally. Okay. An avo saver? So you just stick the half of the avocado on the other side. <gasps> and you just use saran wrap. Wow, they still keep the Tide Pods all locked up. Okay, we're headed out. Some food. Pet fish oil over here, pure omega-3. Gatsby likes it. It's from Nordic Naturals, that's the one that we use. I tend to give Gatsby fish oil in the summertime just because it helps hydrate the skin and the fur. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Today we're gonna to be making some baked lemon, garlic, and Parmesan chicken tenders with a side of lemon, garlic, asparagus, and some rice. Let's get started, recipe in the description below. First things first, we're gonna juice half a lemon. Next, let's mince some garlic. 
preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Next, we'll chop up some parsley. So we're gonna add one egg, two tablespoons of olive oil, the lemon juice, parsley, garlic, some salt, and pepper. Next, we're gonna add our chicken tenders. Okay, there we go. We're gonna mix it all up. And then we're just gonna set this aside. Next, we'll work on the breadcrumbs. We're gonna be using both panko breadcrumbs as well as regular breadcrumbs. Add some paprika. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. I forgot, we gotta add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. There we go. Okay, there we go. And now we are just gonna stick this in the oven for 10 minutes. And as we mentioned, we're gonna do some asparagus. Just gonna wash the asparagus. And you get rid of the woody ends by just snapping it. As you can see, the garlic is starting to brown, so that means we're almost ready. Zest some lemon over it. Salt, pepper. Asparagus is done, we're gonna set it aside, remove the chicken really fast, and we're gonna flip all the chicken over. And then we're gonna stick it back in the oven for another six minutes. We're gonna set the oven to broil just for a minute or two. Non-fried chicken tenders, they look pretty good. Let's get out our rice. Dinner time. Ta-da! Okay, let's try it out. Not bad. Always eating super good on vlog after college. Oh. Go inside. There you go. <laughs> How was your day today? You got to eat such good food. Check out all these awesome fans here. Oh my gosh, we have so many awesome fans. Thank you. So much, you guys! And when you get your Corgi on Fleek merchandise, make sure to tag us Corgi on Fleek, and you could be featured here or in our fan of the week. Make sure to check out all of our restocked shirts. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. See you guys in the next video. Good night. The answer to our never-ending Corgi. Yes, we look up. Corgi. So we've made a lot of mazes and obstacle courses for Gatsby, but we haven't done a proper agility course. 